From Colorado's news leader, this is 9 News at 8 a.m. Now we're going to head out to the backyard and check in with Susie, who has a lot more all about the race. Yeah, thank you, Amelia. So one of the people that will be enjoying those closed roads is our Rhonda Nod, who joins us this morning. She is a leukemia survivor and also a, a runner. You're running the half marathon tomorrow, I Rhonda, am. in the uh, Denver Rock and Roll Marathon. You've been on quite the journey across the country. This will be your eighth race out of 10 that you're just doing this year. But I mean, you've done a lot of them in all the states. We're going to talk more about that. Yes. But uh, tell us about kind of what you're doing right now with this 10, 10, 10 challenge. So 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with an aggressive form of cancer called AML, it was a type of leukemia. Okay. And I needed to participate in a clinical trial using umbilical cords to, to save my life. Um, 10 years later, I'm cancer free. And so to mark my 10 year anniversary, I'm running 10 races this year um, to raise $10,000 for the Gateway for Cancer Research. Wow, that is great. Now we have some photos of you that we're going to show. A couple of them here at the beginning. Uh, they did show when you were sick. Uh, the ones here show when you were healthy. There is a stark difference between the two. There really is. And when I was sick, I decided I needed to use my experience to do something good for other people and really advance the cause for cancer research, which is why I found the Gateway. Um, I really like the Gateway because we do one thing only. We fund cancer research trials that improve or extend a patient's life or find a cure today. And those trials are so important. Obviously, that's what you used to get healthy. They're very important. Yeah. I mean, clinical trials advance the cause. My treatment wasn't available to people before me. And so I think that, you know, things in the future are going to be better because of these clinical trials. And how trials. cool. You're, you're, you're a trendsetter then. I hope way. so. Yeah. I know. That's really neat. So um, now that's why you chose Gateway. Why, why, you know, you come to Denver here. You're going to try and do something in every state I am. Now. I'm trying to run a half <laughs> marathon in every state, eventually wow. raise $100,000 for cancer research. I am almost at my goal of raising $10,000 this year. That's great. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited. And 99 cents of every dollar I raise for the Gateway is going right to the mission. Wow, that's fantastic. And then Team Demand Cures Team is Demand. part of this whole It is. Thing. It's our running program we started this year. Okay. Um, anyone can join Team Demand. You can find out more at demandcurestoday.org. Um, and it, it's a great way to, to get active to participate and to raise money for a great cause. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so half marathon tomorrow. Half Good marathon luck. tomorrow. And then you have two, where are your other two races I'm going to Tulsa year? and I'm going to Memphis by okay. the end of the year. All right, congratulations, Thank you Rhonda. very much. Yes, looking forward to that. You're going to have some Thank great you. weather, too. So if you want some more details about what Rhonda is doing and how you can actually donate to her cause, help her get to that $10,000, we'll have that link to Team Demand on the sports page at 9news.com. Look for Wargen on the web. We're going to take a break, I believe. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, Becky. We're going to talk about the great weather that all the runners have for tomorrow. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, no worries. My weather forecast is pretty easy. Anyways, you're right. <laughs> really 